uh, now coming to the options of PSG investing in India, right? So if you want, if you get, uh, if you say that, okay, yes, sir, take a chai, we like ESG, kaha invest kare, fir kal kya invest kar sakte, options kya ESG in India mein. So these are the few funds which have been around for a bit longer. Longest obviously SBI Magnum equity ESG fund, five years plus. Uh, others are about three years, sorry, one year plus are access ESG, uh, quantum, uh, which has been a bit longer. And uh, then more recently, we've seen launches in ICSA Pro ESG, Quant ESG, uh, as confusing as the names are, uh, as well as Mire Asset ESG. HSBC and one more has launched just now uh, in March. Uh, and Avendus has a AIF also on ESG. And so the returns actually uh, show here, this is taken from Morningstar. Uh, Five-year returns are good, three-year returns are good. I mean, all returns are positive anyway, given that recent rally. But uh, this is as of uh, March 12, as the slide here shows. So even excludes the recent couple of months of volatility. Uh, benchmark returns, in comparison to benchmark, this has been similar. Uh, slightly better, slightly worse, but that, that's the ballpark. And as we see subsequently, as we saw in the last uh, session as well, uh, even if you construct a ESG portfolio on platforms like Make My Fund, uh, you see performance of one or two percentage points better than benchmark. That's uh, that's the broad range. So you're not compromising on performance. That's the important part. Uh, there are essentially two ways to invest in ESG uh, compliant manner. Uh, one is to invest in a fund. Uh, but this is the point at which I wanted to highlight that ESG is not an investment strategy, which is why I'm not really fond of investing through ESG uh, fund, right? So I'll tell you the difference. <clears throat> you can say that I, I believe in value investing. You can say I believe in quality investing or growth investing or some complicated quant model that tells me what stocks will go long and what stocks will be short. All of that is fine uh, because these are all investment strategies. They are meant to give you higher returns. Uh, uh, and so they are, and sometimes you can combine them and all that. ESG is more like an overlay. It's like saying, uh, I want to invest in small caps or large caps or mid caps. You can call it a strategy, but there is no strategy called mid cap strategy. It's more like saying mid cap is my mandate. And in mid caps, then let me see if I can do value investing. You can do value investing in mid cap, you can do value investing in large cap. Uh, so those are different ways of looking at things. One is the universe or the mandate and second is uh, uh, the strategy itself. In a similar way, ESG is a way of thinking about what sort of companies you want to invest in. And it's a mandate of the investor, right? A fund management house like uh, SBR or Access may say that ESG is a good idea, so let me launch a fund. That's fine. That's not wrong. But it's like saying I'm launching a mid-cap index fund, which is okay. But what is more appropriate uh, in the medium to long term is that we say I believe in ESG as a philosophy. So all my equity investments have to be ESG compliant, right? Uh, this is, to, to take an extreme example, this is like Sharia, right? So Sharia investors, it, use Sharia as a criteria, saying within Sharia, do what you want. So similarly, ESG is a criteria of that nature, that it's an ethical constraint put on the investment managers by the investor. So you as an investor is telling the AMC that I prefer companies which are environmentally responsible, socially compliant, and uh, high quality and governance. Within that mandate, do what you want. So there is no point in launching an ESG fund. It's almost like saying ESG fund is in a corner. A top 200 fund is going on. So if a company is environmentally damaging or governance is poor, uh, it won't be part of my ESG fund. But by the way, in my top 200, I'm going to include it. Or in my uh, blue chip fund, I'm going to include it. That's sort of incoherent. I understand that it's not immediately possible for everyone to just switch away like that. But some of the AMCs, including SBI for that matter, I'd happened to speak to Navneet Munoth when he was still at SBI back in 2018. Uh, then he had said that this, uh, we had agreed on this point that ESG is more of an overlay. So an AMC will generally try to make all its funds uh, tilt towards ESG or make it ESG compliant. And a, a good quality AMC or a fund manager should in fact have a negative list anyway saying, these companies are so poor on governance or environment or social or any of uh, any combination that I just don't want to invest in them, even if they're the best stocks in the world. Uh, 
that rarely happens because if you're so poor on ES and G, you generally will be performing poorly on uh, stock markets also. So uh, I think that's, uh, so I think we have a question. So let me just take that one quickly. Right. So here's a question on top 10 ESG shares. Uh, that's an interesting question to ask because frankly, uh, as you'll see in subsequent uh, pages, uh, it's, it's a bit harder to say objectively. It's not as objective as saying uh, top 10 most profitable companies, right? Because you can just look at fat margins and say, yeah, this is the most profitable company, the Procter & Gamble and so on. Uh, here it is a little bit more subjective because uh, you know what you may consider environmentally damaging, some other person may say it's neutral and so on and so forth. But let me still not evade it and give a clearer answer, which is factual. Most of the IT companies score pretty well on ESG. So Infosys, TCS, uh, usual suspects. Uh, governance wise, HDFC and HDFC Bank. Uh, social again, uh, the likes of microfinance companies will generally do well. They're not in the top 50, so you won't hear their name so regularly, but any SME, MSME financing companies or uh, companies in uh, microfinance will generally do well in a social count. Uh, environmentally, NHPC, I already mentioned. Uh, some companies like ITC score well on social criteria. So these are some obvious names. 